started as the routine removal of contaminated soil at Fort Mason in San Francisco has led to the discovery of human remains. Crown Force Dan Kerman reports on how the cleanup has now turned into an archaeological investigation. It's here behind this nondescript Fort Mason building where archaeologists have been hard at work sifting through soil since human remains were discovered here on Monday. Apart from a, a cemetery that we discovered at the public health service site elsewhere in the park, we haven't found found uh, this, this uh, cluster of human remains before. The bones were uncovered while crews were removing soil contaminated by lead paint. While investigators say it's too early to say how old the bones are, anecdotal evidence suggests they date back to the 1860s when this site was an active army post. And so the remains uh, appear to be connected with a hospital that operated from the Civil War period. We're still trying to determine the, the nature of uh, the burials that took place here, whether this was incidental to amputations and surgery uh, or whether it was a formal burial ground. The anecdotal evidence suggests that, it, that this was not a place for formal burials. Archaeologists will be here for the next several days. Then the real detective work begins as they try to figure out why these bones were here and where they came from. We should have some answers in the next two to three weeks. In San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Crown 4 News.